It is Thursday, February 4th. Welcome to Menace of Sports. I am Zach Smith, your host. It is Throwback Thursday here on Menace of Sports where we pick a story or something that I did or experienced in my career and kind of throw it back for you, give you a little insight into the other side of college football, college football coaching, recruiting, what it's like on the road for a college football coach, and really a lot like the short-lived ESPN series Playmakers, the kind of dirty side, what you don't know about the world of recruiting, what college coaches do and don't do. And uh, it's not a, a landslide, 100% uh, of all coaches are this way, but I'll tell you this much, being in it for 15 years, it is a pretty big majority. Uh, just a lot like a, a Netflix documentary that, that you haven't seen before. Um, so we're going to dive into just a couple couple stories I have from, from recruiting, my experience, the debauchery that goes on. But do me a favor, I have a question for you. Those of you that are college football fans, drop me a percentage below. In the comments, I pinned a, a, a comment. Drop me the percentage of coaches you think that are unfaithful to their wives when they go on the road recruiting. These coaches are all over the place, right? They're in South Beach, Miami. They're in Los Angeles, San Diego, Dallas. All these great, beautiful places with a lot of fun and exciting nightlife. What percentage do you think have extramarital affairs outside of their marriage? So drop that percentage below. And enough about that. Let's get to the show. <laughs> All right, before we get started with this episode, I, I just want to tell you, at, towards the end of this video, even if you want to fast forward, we're going to have a flight attendant come on the show and explain to you her experience with Tom Herman in this sex ring that was created amongst Dallas assist, uh, assistant coaches that recruited Dallas and a ring of flight attendants. So stay tuned for that towards the end of the episode. You won't want to miss it. So let's talk about recruiting and what it's like to be on the road. The way I used to tell people about it is it is like adult spring break. I mean, you wake up in the morning, you go out and you grind all day. You're in high schools when they open. You're trying to get maybe eight, eight schools a day, trying to see as many coaches, as many players as you can see, and you're grinding. Then after school's over, you're going to workouts. You're watching guys work out, lift, run, maybe throw routes. You're going to watch practices, depending on where you are in the country. And when all that subsides at, let's say, 6, 7 p.m., you put in a 12-hour day, then the lights come on. That's when a lot of coaches, not all coaches, but a lot of coaches go enjoy themselves some of the scenery. And we want to talk about it. I once dated dated a girl that was in charge of recruiting at Alabama. And the story she would tell me about assistant coaches just knocking out a, uh, recruiting girls left and right. All of them married. They each had their kind of specific recruiting girl that they would bang out on the side. And it was just eye-opening to me because it wasn't like that at Ohio State. Outside of one person, and myself, and Tom Herman. And it's funny because you go on the road and there's bartenders, secretaries at school, teachers, hotel front desk girls, adult dancers, masseuses, you name it, it all goes down. Go, they say it goes down on the road. Um, I mean, all the way from Tom Herman's alleged affair to, with an Iowa State recruiting girl that ended in a forced abortion. I mean, just the stories and the, the, the accounts are endless. I mean, I witnessed coaches and a coach's wife doing coke off of a stripper's chesticles, if we can call them that, and stay PG-13 here on YouTube. Um, but the, the, the area I saw it the most was two areas, Dallas and South Florida. South Florida, Tom Herman and I went and recruited a, a, a high school quarterback down there, and we went to probably multiple strip clubs, I mean, three, four strip clubs, ending in the, the uber-famous Tootsies in South Florida. And if you haven't been there, that's not your normal strip club. I'm talking about it is Miami Vice, Miami nightlife on full display. And, and Tom and I went there several times. And then the, we found ourselves the next day in Dallas, Texas, which I had never been to Dallas, Texas. And we ended up in an Asian massage parlor that night. You're talking night after night. Some of these guys that have been on the road and knows the ropes. I mean, you go to this place called Dallas Jade right off the highway, this little shack looking thing. You walk in and, and it's like a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I mean, in and out and, and back into schools in the morning. Uh, th those massages, by the way, they massage the one area that normal masseuses won't massage and they don't touch anywhere that a normal masseuse would massage. Uh, if you aren't familiar with how that works. But it is a wild, wild west out there on the road. 
And then what I found, what I couldn't believe, I was shocked about. So I figured guys maybe had an affair here or there, picked up a girl on the road, or, you know, pulled a bartender and take them to the hotel. I assumed that stuff happened. Shoot, I partook in that at times. What I didn't know was the absolute bombshell that was dropped on me in Dallas was this huge sex ring that was organized by a guy named Jeeb. Jeeb. It's AskJeebs.com. Um, he went to college with a flight attendant. And, and Jeeb was friends with a bunch of coaches in the Texas state of Texas. And those coaches that recruited Dallas all planned their recruiting trips on the, in the same week. So they could st- uh, hang out together, recruit together, have drinks together, and ultimately bang out some uh, flight attendants together. So this guy Jeeb went to school with a flight attendant, and she was like the ringleader for all the flight attendants. She would get uh, uh, her crew, her lineup of girls, to all have a layover in Dallas and they would be there at the same time. They would go out, the coaches would pay, and at the end of the night, the coaches would pick which one they wanted, and sometimes multiple, sometimes two coaches, two girls, two coaches, one girl, just wild stuff that you only find on on the internet, right? And uh, it was a drunken, drug-infested orgy is what it was, and like a real-life bunny ranch without the monetary exchange. And uh, if you don't believe me, on one of our early episodes of Menace to Sports, we had uh, we expo- kind of talked about this story and the life. What is the life like on the road? And we actually invited on the woman who was in charge of the flight attendant ring. So if you don't believe me, here take it from from her. Here you go. Here's her audio when she was explaining to me what went down with Tom Herman and her. So don't think I haven't just met up with him in one city. She was always like, "Where are you? Oh, so and so is here. Go there. Go buy your drinks." <laughs> right. And as a flight attendant, I mean, we make good money, but I want to go out and have drinks. <laughs> right, absolutely. I'm not the only flight attendant he's ever been with. Oh, I believe it. Tom. It could have been another one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know with Tom. Okay, so do you want to talk about the sex or are you going to talk about almost getting into a wreck? Okay, well, the sex was terrible. Like, he's super funny and we really got along. But then when we went to, like, do that, it was like, oh, that marriage is a joke. I did like her shirt, though. That was funny. She was giving a little F you. But when you know that, oh, hey, your husband me. Nice shirt. (laughs) Right. That's what's funny about it, right? I know. I'm like, okay. Well, there you have it. This is just quick a quick insight trying to uh, give you some, some perspective into the other side of college football coaching, the world that you see on TV. You see touchdowns, you see Heismans, you see national championships, but you don't see what happens when it's behind the scenes. No cameras, nobody knows, kind of under the hood, inside access. That's what our podcast, Menace to Sports, is all about, giving you a perspective from a former college football coach that has no filter. I don't care what anyone thinks. I don't care what anyone sells says, I'm speaking facts, speaking the truth, and exposing to you the other side of college football. So every Thursday, Throwback Thursday, do me a favor, subscribe down below, like the video, and uh, click the bell so you can be alerted when our next video comes out. So thank you for tuning in, and we will catch you next episode.